Okay, this is how you make the falling man effect in Photoshop. Go to File and Open. Find your falling man image. Double click, it will open up. Then go over to the layer that was created, double click on it, it'll say background. Change the name to falling man. Press OK. And you'll notice that the layer is unlocked now. The lock is gone. What I want to do is get rid of this white background so I can have a transparent image of the silhouette. So I want to press W. That's the shortcut for magic wand. And then you'll see the magic wand pop up. And then click on the image. And it should select outside of the image. And now I can just simply press delete. And the white background will delete. I want to delete, deselect my selection there. So I'm going to use the shortcut for deselect, which is command. D and now the marching ants the selection is deselected what I want to do now is I want to create a background to um, make my falling man effect happen on so I want to go all the way down here to this half filled circle click it and go to the top where it says solid color and I'm just going to keep with this yellow color because it contrasts with the black and press OK you'll notice that my falling man disappeared so what I want to do is drag my falling man layer to the above that layer I just created and now the falling man silhouette is above the color fill layer. Now what I want to do is choose my selection tool so I can move the falling man and I'm going to move him in position. I'm not going to transform him yet so there's the first position I want him in. Um, what I need to do now is I need to either um, I think I'm good with his, his position, so I'm fine with that. I need to duplicate um, the silhouette here. So the shortcut for duplicate, to duplicate this layer is Command-J. When I press Command-J, you see um, Falling Man copy pop up, but you didn't see anything happen up here because it, it just created it right on top of him. So if I click on it and drag, you'll see that there's a, another layer there. So to, for me to transform this, I press Command-T. That's free transform. You'll see this box pop up. I'm, I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and then hold shift so it keeps proportions and scaling down a smidge. And then I press enter. You always have to press enter after that. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Command J. It created another layer. I'm going to drag him out. I'm going to press Command T. Rotate it just a little bit. And hold shift and scale him down. Press enter. Command J to duplicate, drag him out, Command T, rotate just a little bit, and hold shift, scale him down some, press enter, Command J, drag him out, Command T, rotate, Hold shift, scale him down, press enter, command J. It creates another layer, I pull him out, command T, rotate just a little bit, hold shift, scale him down. And I have my falling man effect really quickly. And when I'm done, I go to file, save as, choose JPEG. Make sure I give him a good, meaningful name. Falling Man is fine. I want to save him in my H drive and press save. And OK. And that is it.